are we doing, folks? Your host, Moose, here to preview Pat Narduzzi's Pittsburgh Panthers. We're going to take a look at them here this year as we get a quick look through their roster. You can feel free to pause the video and take a look at that. But we're going to give them sort of a depth chart analysis. Nate Peterman, the senior quarterback, to lead them out. Senior May Stalker just behind. They do have freshman Thomas McVitie as well, but he will be redshirt this year. Halfback is where they're arguably most strong. James Conner, Quadri Olison, Darren Hall, and Sean Tesmos. Four fantastic running backs that look to share the load. They've, of course, got George Adams. Aston, the fullback who can do everything, catch the ball, run the ball, block. He's a phenomenal player. Wide receiver, you know what? A lot of young talent, ton of freshmen here. Quadri Henderson is most known for his speed, if not necessarily his wide receiver abilities. Jester Weah looks to possibly have a breakout year, and they've got Matthews Tipton, Maurice Fuffa French. Uh, some fantastic players. Tight end Scott Orndorff, Jamar Parrish uh, are a couple of good solid tight end options. They do have Chris Clark in the pipeline to come in next season. Adam Biznawai, Dorian Johnson. This is where you get the most strength out of the Panthers. Their offensive line is phenomenal. Brian O'Neill, Heisman uh, candidate. Left end, Rory Blair, Dwayne Hendricks look to share the load while Ewan Price is the star of this defense. Looks to get a ton of sacks this year uh, coming off that right side of the Panthers defensive line. they got a couple of monsters in the center there. Tyreek Jarrett, an absolute mammoth, alongside Shakir Soto at defensive tackle with Teleni behind. So a lot of young talent on this Panther lineup, hoping to make an impact in the likes of Elijah Zis, Adowu, and Salim Brightwell at outside linebacker, all going to fight for playing time. There's no doubt about it. Matt Galambo, senior impact player, in the middle, but Quentin Wurgens is very solid, and we might see Brightwell sneaking into that position as well. Caprera and Bradley out on the right-hand side. A couple of solid, if not spectacular, players. This is where Pitt may struggle, though. No really shutdown corners. Avante, Max, Ryan Luce, DeMar Hamlin, and Dane Jackson. A couple of freshmen coming in looking to make a big impact, but we'll see how the Panthers' pass events can go. Struggle at strong safety with Terrence Webb and Reggie Mitchell, but Jordan White has an absolute star for, uh, strong safety here for the Panthers looking to make a big big impact of course Chris Blute the kicker solid Winslow unspectacular at punter Quadri Henderson one of the most electric returners in the game so it's a fantastic lineup to look at you know a lot of depth a lot of youngsters coming in that can make an impact and we see their schedule a pretty tough schedule a minus strength to schedule they open up with Marshall which they should win Penn State's going to be a fantastic rivalry game building that up Florida State away Oklahoma State away going to be two very tough games they do have Old Dominion at home, uh, Virginia Tech at home, Clemson at home, another tough game, Virginia, Georgia Tech, North Carolina Duke, and Miami. So we're looking probably for the Panthers somewhere along the lines of an 8-4 and four season. I think they'd be very happy with it. And the projections this year seem to think of something very similar. They're projected to finish third in the ACC Coastal Division behind North Carolina and Miami. Virginia Tech surprisingly as low as fifth in the division so could be something we'll see and the winner of course of that division is going to come into the ACC Atlantic where Clemson is the favorite but Florida State and Louisville are two teams that could stir the pot while the remainder of the divisions not the greatest pool of talent but some very top heavy teams on that side of the division so we'll see what Pitt can do uh, that will lead us here into the top 25 of the whole NCAA of course Alabama is the overwhelming favorite but we got teams like Ohio State Michigan Clemson Washington uh, LSU, Florida State, Oklahoma that can stir the pot and possibly make an impact this season. The Panthers open up the season ranked in the mid-30s, of course, 35th to be exact. So we'll see what kind of impact they can have here this season. Uh, it Potentially sneaking up into the top 25 would be the ideal goal. We'll have to see how their defense, if it can really execute Narduzzi's plan coming forward this year. But overall, the Panthers are forecasted, though, to continue to improve as high as 18th is their projected rank in 2015. So you can see a couple of steady years of improvement for the Panthers are projected here from us uh, at your Moose Sports Network. So a couple of good solid years for Pittsburgh. What you'll notice, uh, ironically, if you look at 2015, you'll see Penn State is actually projected. Huge rivalry coming back this year. Pitt-Penn State is projected to be very similar in the levels of talent. 
uh, come forward the next couple of seasons. So uh, it says 2015. Obviously, we're pretending like this is 2016. We're using 2016 rosters, so keep that in mind. And for the Panthers to improve that much, we got to take a look at their recruiting. Paris Ford, Todd Sibley, a couple of real recruits that we've included here. Otherwise, everyone else is brought in by NCA. Some very solid talent. You can see the Panthers actually the number one recruit in the country, that other halfback. The Panthers are right in the mix for him, so that would be phenomenal if they could get that level of talent coming in. But they're going to need those recruits to come in and make them uh, you know, really stand out over the next few seasons. But before we move into the next few seasons, that means we're going to preview Pitt versus Marshall, the season opener coming up here this week on the Moose Sports Network. And we take a look at Marshall here after looking at the Panthers. This will be a nationally broadcast game uh, at 6 p.m. on ESPN. So fantastic for the Panthers there to get on national television. Marshall projected fourth in the Conference USA, third in their division, the Conference USA East. So certainly not a team that the Panthers would hope to struggle with, especially taking them on at home in the season over, but you never know what's going to happen. If we look at Marshall's depth, start, Chase Linton is going to be the real key here. Solid, uh, if not spectacular, starting quarterback. Looks to be a solid game manager. Can throw the ball pretty well. High like Foster, of course, they're running back. And they have Davis and Pittman behind them, so a couple of good options there. No real game changers at wide receiver. No speed burners that look to be big deep threats or anything that like, but Juracek is a solid option as a tight end as well, so the Panthers will need uh, you know, solid coverage all around. If we look at their defense, Gary Thompson's going to be the one guy that they're going to have to contend with. Brian O'Neill will have to put in a really strong performance to neutralize him. Durant's a solid outside linebacker who could play an impact on that as well. He'll be coming off the same side, so it'll definitely be something the Panthers right side of the line will have to contend with uh, as far as stopping them, but the Panthers offensive attack should have a field day as the cornerbacks here have no real uh, level of talent. It's something that Jester Wee as the deep threat maybe Quadri Henderson could hope to really attack as far as what they can do coming up here in the next game here against Marshall. But the big key, though, Chase Litton, like we said, the 6'6 sophomore is going to be the key to what Marshall can do coming forward here in this matchup. If he doesn't have a big game, if he doesn't lead the offense down the field with regularity, there's no chance that Marshall is going to exit Heinz Field with a victory. And if we turn to Kirk Herbstreit, we can see he is predicting the Panthers to come away with a victory. I think everyone's really doing that so far. And on the Moose Sports Network, we're going to project that the Panthers are going going to beat the Marshall Thundering Herd 34 to 24 in this season opener here at Heinz Field. Nothing too spectacular, but we think Pitt will come away with a fairly comfortable victory. So this has been a fantastic episode season preview for the Panthers. Let me know uh, if you're looking forward to this particular dynasty. If you're excited about it, I know I am. I can't wait to get it underway. We'll have the Marshall game in the next episode. Let me know anything you want to see in the future from this dynasty, and we'll hope to include. So as always, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.